Okay, so I want to try and quickly film my favorites because Alba's on her way over here. <laughs> um, and she's about to like be outside in like literally a little bit. Um, I have some gripes, some hypes, a little bit of everything. Um, oh, my hearing is all over the place. Um, this damn brush. Okay, I love what it does. I love how it works. I love it for contouring a little bit or setting powder underneath my eyes or highlighting. It's, um, sorry, I have the sniffles. <laughs> It's like a really good multi-purpose um, type of brush, but I would never spend full price for this mother. Um, this thing is like 50 something bucks. OMG. Um, originally priced, it's like 50 something dollars. Okay. First things first. Um, luckily with my discount, it knocked it down to like somewhere between 20 and 30 or something like that. Um, that's still a little bit steep for me, to be honest with you, because <laughs> I can get brush sets for like $60, $100, so knowing that I'm paying or could pay $50 for one or even $30 for one is ridiculous, because I could get like $12 <laughs> for the price of like two of these. I don't know. Crazy. Um, but because of that, um, this is a hype and a gripe. So I love what it does. Like, I love how it contours. I've never had a tapering brush before. All I have are crease brushes when I come to contouring. Um, honestly, when I contour for stage makeup, that's what I would use. I would use um, I would use crease brushes. So I used to have a ton of crease brushes, and I was like, well, I could use a face tapered brush. Why not? I want to try it. So I mean, what better than Mac? You know, because I get the biz biggest discount there, of course. And not a lot of other brands have tapered brushes except for like Sigma or Sedona Lace even. Girl, I would just go there. Go go to them. Because the quality is almost the same. I love the quality of Sigma brushes. I love the quality of Sedona Lace brushes. I can guarantee you wouldn't be disappointed. So honestly, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't buy this again. Like I wouldn't get a second for my kit. I do love it though. And I love it enough not to return it. <laughs> um, but honestly, if I had a choice, I wouldn't have purchased it. Like, I would have gotten it somewhere else, for real. This is one of my favorite bronzers, and this is the one in Goddess. And this is from Wet n Wild. And this was only like a dollar something. I think it's like $2.99 or something like that, but I got it on sale for like 40% off. Um, here's a swatch. I know it's kind of dark, but when it blends out, it looks really gorgeous. I love this bronzer. I'm wearing it today. Um... I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but ever since, like, winter dreariness came through, like, I am obsessed with bronzing my face again. <laughs> and this is one of my favorites. The only thing I don't like about it, so this is a gripe about it, is that I don't care for the texture. Um, I don't know if you guys can really see it, but it's been dug into the sun part, like, a lot, a lot. Because it is so, so, like, soft. And that's fine and everything, like, the fact that it's really finely milled and all, but... I get scared sometimes like I have to really like lightly tap my brush in there because if not it'll go everywhere it's ugh. I mean what do you expect from a drugstore but at the same time Wet n Wild's a really good brand I love them I love all of their eyeshadow palettes and everything their blushes so I don't know part of me was kind of sad but I mean at the same time I can deal with the texture it's not a big deal but that's an FYI for any of you guys who are gonna pick this up and you guys are gonna swirl the hell out of your brush I can guarantee fallout like a mug. My other two favorite bronzers are my Milani ones that I purchased during the 75% off sale. This one is the one in light. It's a little bit more on the orangey tan side. And then um, the darker one oh, is uh, medium. So this is the difference between the two. There's a little bit more red in the medium and a little bit more orange on the light. I love them both. Um, medium is a great contour and light is a great bronzer. So these three are like my favorite absolute bronzers at the moment. And then my favorite blush right now is this MAC one from the Naturally Collection. And this one is called Subtle Breeze. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous pink. It's like a nice rosy pink shade. I really love it. It looks really nice and fresh on the cheeks. I believe I used this in my Valentine's Day tutorial. It looks really pretty on the cheeks. It's like a really nice, soft, rosy, pink glow. It's gorgeous. Um, on women of color, this could be a nice like blush slash highlight, if you will. Um, so yeah, really, really adore this. And I love mineralized blush anything from MAC anyways. So I guess that was a no fail. I knew I was going to like that one. <laughs> um, favorite foundation. I don't remember if I mentioned this. Um, in my last favorites, but I know for sure that I mentioned it um, in a review. So if you guys want to see the review, it's down below. And this is like my absolute, 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 absolute 
favorite foundation of the moment. I really adore this foundation. Um, it's a touch warm for me. It would be perfect, perfect, perfect in the summer. Um, but the only thing I don't like is it's just a little bit kind of orangey tan. But it's so easy to like just tone that down with like a lighter face powder. So I don't even mind. So yes, adore this foundation. Again, if you want my review, down below. Another thing that's been saving my face lately is this uh, little itty bitty bottle. <laughs> um, this is Benefits Moisture Prep Toning Lotion. I've mentioned this in the review of the skincare line. I hated this at first because in the summer my skin does not need that much moisture. I'm combination oily. Using this like really broke me the f out and I was pissed because it was just too much moisture going on. Uh, but ever since winter rolled around and my skin has been haywire and dry up the hoo-ha, this has been saving my life. So basically it's a toning lotion. Um, you don't have to put it on a cotton pad because it'll just absorb it. So just kind of dab it between your fingers and then just do 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 Kind of like, you know, sprinkle it across your face like that, like dab, 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 dab. Um, I especially dab it where I need it the most. So for some reason lately, like above my brows has been really itchy um, around my nose kind of and a little bit down here. So I just kind of dab it wherever, which way that I need it the most. And then I proceed with my moisturizer once it sticks in. Um, but real talk, this is amazing. So if you have dry skin, like really, really dry skin right now, try to look into this. Get a sample of it at the counter or something. Um, see if you like it, because I really did. And it smells just like the rest of their skincare. Ugh, amazing. Next face thing that I'm loving is Max Prep and Prime Translucent. Oh, trans transparent. Mm, transparent finishing powder. Um, I hated this at first. Like, I purchased it. I didn't care for it. Um, I had my Makeup Forever HD powder. I loved that thing. Um, honestly, like, the, I would only use this on my clients. Um, but lately, oh, I have been loving this for setting my under eye concealer and it is the bomb! Real talk though, like, some of my concealers that crease like crazy, like my Bobbi Brown one, oh, this baby. Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer, it does the most when it comes to covering and everything, but it creases like a motherfucker on me and I hate it. But this with this baby, balls. Any concealer that's been like too creamy for my face, um, or anything like that like I just set it with this especially underneath my eyes and it makes it last so much longer And it just gives me like the most beautiful finish like I love it. Um, this is the Estee Lauder double wear Okay, so I kind of sort of like this and I kind of sort of don't what's weird is it reminds me so so much of max um, What is it called select moisture cover? It is so much. Oh, hello it is so much like that concealer that it, it's like not even funny. It's like a long wear version of that concealer. And I love that concealer. It's an amazing one for underneath the eye. What is wrong with my bangs? It's an amazing one for underneath the eyes and everything. And they're very much the same, like as far as consistency wise goes. So I do love how it covers and everything. What I don't like is that it's like false advertising. Okay, really though, double wear, stay in place, flawless wear concealer. Supposedly it's supposed to last more than eight hours for sure, but I don't know the exact time frame, like if it's 14 hours, 24 hour wear, whatever, but um, it doesn't even last eight hours. <laughs> like my MAC Pro long wear definitely lasts way longer. Um, it's a little bit frustrating because, like I said, it reminds me so much of the Select Moisture Cover. And that's another reason why I stopped using the MAC Select Moisture Cover, because it just doesn't last as long as my MAC Pro Longwear. Um, I love the consistency and everything, and I love how it feels, and it's, it's just perfect for the under eyes. But, I just need something that lasts a little longer. Like, I'm not the type to sit there and fuss with my makeup all day, okay? I don't like touching up. <laughs> like, I bring my lip gloss and that's probably it. As for stay in place, I don't really think so. I mean, it works just like your average concealer. It was $22 versus my MAC one, which was, uh, I think originally like $16 or $17. With my discount, it goes down. So for half the price, probably, um, I would get pretty much the same concealer. Another thing that's been saving me this month that I really like is my Ceo Bigelow Rose Salve. I love this stuff. Um, it smells really yummy. Well, it smells yummy to me. It smells like a rose balm, basically. Not like yummy, like mwah, mwah, yummy, but like it doesn't smell like nauseating or anything. And it looks like that. It looks like rose colored Vaseline. Um, and it's basically just a balm. <laughs> they call it a salve. Um, they have rosebud salve. It's pretty much the same thing, just different brand. Um, and I really like this for like my cuticles. Uh, my cuticles have been effed up this season like everything is dry 
Ugh, it drives me nuts. But this has been a savior to like patches on my skin that's been kind of dry like around my nose because um, I was blowing my nose like crazy when I was sick. <laughs> and then like any dry cuticle areas, it's been really saving that for real, for real. Because my hands were getting fucked up. And then um, I really like it for my lips because I've been getting like every time winter rolls around, I get like itchy type of chap lips. Like it gets really itchy underneath here. Like I, I tend to like really scratch. I have this bad habit of like kind of going like that a little bit with my teeth. That's so disgusting, but really that's just what I do. It's just really nice and soothing on the lips. Um, it gives me a really good amount of moisture. Um, I put this on at night and then the next morning it's like fabulous. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I miss you. Bye!